Well, next weekend, many people will be getting together to spend the day with mom. And if you're looking for something tasty to try out on Mother's Day, you're in luck. Joining us this morning is Chef Kieran Hales with Zingerman's Cornman Farms. Always great to see you. Good to see you. I'm away from the wife and the kids right now, so I don't know how that will go down for next week. <laughs> we'll see. I'm, yeah. I'm sure you've got it covered. Yeah. All right, so what are you doing today? So we're going to show you a little recipe of how we... Uh, uh, preserve a vegetable. So one of the things we love to grow out the farm is uh, fennel. So big mm -hmm. bulb fennel, this guy right here. Oh. And so a way to preserve those flavors and those nutrients. So the farmer's market that's alive right mm -hmm. now, a way to keep all of those things fresh. And so what we're going to do is do something called comfying, which is like cooking within its own fat or within a fat. And so what we'll do is we're going to fill up a glass jar, so one of our ball jars, uh, with a selection of different things. So we've got the recipe online for everyone, but we've got some shaved fennel, mm -hmm. some carrots, onions, garlic, juniper berries, black peppercorns, thyme, and then star anise. Now, beautiful smell of like that aniseedy star anise yes. kind of like flavors into the fennel as well. And so as uh. you place all of them in, like stagger them up. So this mm -hmm. is a kind of a great thing my six-year-old will do at home. We'll start adding the oil as we layer it up. Nice. And then once we've done that, we're going to seal up the jar and then we're going to cook it either sous vide. So we've got a pot of water here. This could be slow simmering on the stove, but we love to use sous vide. It's a, a way to cook things under pressure within a vacuum. Mm -hmm. So we'll drop that in there. As soon as she comes out, we'll let it drain off. Uh -huh. And then you get this wonderful oil that we oh, can use I as a dressing. And then we get the fennel we can do a lot of things with. So the comfy fennel salad that we've got for you today is some beautiful fresh kale from the fields right now uh, dressed up with a dressing that we've made so if you can take all of the oil the vinegar mm -hmm. we can throw all of those things in here take a little bit of this flavored oil so all of that's taken on all the flavors of the all the and goodness yes. yeah and so we add some of those flavors back in we'll add a little bit of olive oil and then rather than like taking a whisk and again being that realm of my kids, <laughs> of a six-year-old, you can just shake that sucker up shake and we're going to be able to throw that over the top. And so we've got things we've done where we turned it into a stir fry, a pork. We've also added cream and made the blitz version of the fennel into there. But give it a whirl, see what you oh think of it all. Oh my goodness, I cannot wait. And what do you love about doing it this way? I mean, what do you think it really adds? Right, so this is one of those things we do at the farm. We do a series of classes this fall uh, called Soup to Sauces, where you take mm. one thing and you can use it in multiple different ways. And so for us, this is sitting in your fridge, it's ready. I've got uh, pizza dough that sat in there and we keep restocking it. We've got sauces in there. So this has like 10 or 12 uses in my home kitchen right now. It's keeping those vegetables really fresh. It has a purpose rather than having to like I've got to figure this out I can make it in this base ingredient mm -hmm. and then use it in multiple things and it's pretty down good this is delicious <laughs> it is so incredibly flavored yeah. and still really really light yeah and it'll keep for like good two weeks and to be honest it'll keep for months in the fridge in that format for and I love you can kind of just make it what you what you like right just yeah. pick some of your favorite kind of things so we've got some different spices and herbs you could add into it we've done other salads so this is one where we've done a peat pickled egg so this is another one of those fun pieces oh, where if you pickled that. beets uh -huh. you take that pickled liquor and you poach an egg and you drop it into there you've then got that beautiful yolk that's oh. sitting into the center of it which is pretty beautiful beautiful as well. yeah. and I want to make sure everyone knows where they can go to find you guys I know you guys do a lot of events but you have other things happening yeah so we're like primary that wedding location mm -hmm. it's inspired by us being a culinary destination I got to work in 27 different yeah. countries as a chef so that's why it's a really special place for weddings but we do a lot of publicly ticketed events so this 20th of June we're going to be having like a food truck event out there lots of different types of things we're going to be doing fish and chips which is yeah. obviously going to be a favorite <laughs> for me but we're doing uh, later in the fall that soup to sauces class where we'll teach you things like this where we'll take that base bolognese sauce and be able to turn it into three or four different things down the road of it so wow well we we just love having you your ideas your food is always <laughs> delicious every time we know you're coming in i mean the newsroom we everyone's so happy Perfect. so thank you this is delicious i can't wait to finish this for breakfast awesome. and tell us where you guys are located real yeah, quick so we're out in dexter so like a hop skip and a jump away from ann arbor and so like 45 minutes from where we are right now Oh, nice, right. easy trip. I just found Dexter. Chef, thank you so much. Thank you so much. We'll for have the yeah. recipe on our website, wxyz.com. Hallie, over to you. I'm telling you, the salad is everything. Oh.